while implementing integrations you will usually come across a scenario wherein you have to make a call to stored procedure or stored functions in the database in this class we are going to learn how to invoke or call a stored procedure in the oracle database with this integration we hope you already know about stored procedures and this is just a summary how we can achieve so i am having the basic stored procedure over here in which i am sending the name and in the response i am getting the greeting like hello my name and have a nice day so let me just compile this first in the database copy this and paste it over here compile let me just compile the body as well select and paste it over here then let me just commit this then we will go ahead with the hands on i have created this integration in the trigger i have exposed this integration or rest protocol and it is accepting a input it's like a name it will take and in the mapper response i will send the response what we received from the stored procedure that is that is the message that is hello my name whatever we sent in the integration input and a have a nice day so in order to achieve this we are going to make use of the same connection which we had created earlier that is atp connection let me just name this as plsql proc call you can name as per your business requirement or as per your projects naming standards here we have to select invoke a stored procedure click on next here it will ask for the schema i have run this in admin schema we are having couple of packages over here let me just check what is the name it is xx message package so we have to select this one xx message package we have selected that we have to select the procedure within that that is this one if we are having multiple procedures so in our case our procedure name is grid procedure so we have to select that and we have to see the parameters it will tell what and all parameters like how we have defined over here exactly it will show over here click on next click on done click on save now we have to pass the request that is the name whatever user enters while testing this integration over rest protocol over here in the mapper so that it can pass to the stored procedure and get a customized greeting message hello your name and the have a nice day so let me just expand this query parameter input i will map to in name let me just go back click on apply yeah then in the mapper over here let me just edit this in the response wrapper we are having a message element so we have to expand the response from the stored procedure out message i have to map to message so that's it we will go back click on apply i will pause this class until then i will activate this integration and will resume this class from testing page for this integration i am here in the testing page for demo plsql procedure so in the input i will provide the name that is binum learning and click on run so when we run it will make a call to stored procedure supply this name that is input and get the customized greeting and map the greeting back so if you see the message is hello bilam learning have a nice day that is the message what it has generated with the help of stored procedure so this is how we have demonstrated with the help of the basic or a simple stored procedure how we can invoke a stored procedure and get the data back but in actual or real use case you will be having a complex logic which is built in the stored procedure wherein you will have multiple transactions interacting with your database tables and it will do much more stuff but the basic principle in calling the stored procedure will remain like this